Hey everybody, welcome back to the Corporate Finance Academy. Today we are going to go through a 13-week cash flow. In this 13-week cash flow video, we're going to cover the introduction. We're going to talk a little bit about what the 13-week cash flow is. Then we're going to get into how to build the 13-week cash flow. What does it look like? What does the template look like? How often do you do it? And then we'll talk through the benefits and why you want to do this as a business. At the end of the day, cash is still king. You could have a great business that has a ton of revenue and you could actually be booking profits, but you could be insolvent as a business. So cash is still the king and the 13 week cash flow forecast is a great tool to manage cash in the short term. So what is it? If you were comparing it to a car, it's kind of like the check engine light. When you look through your 13 week cash flow, it's going to tell you, is everything running smoothly? Or are you just a little low on coolant, which is a minor problem? Or are you leaking oil, which is slightly bigger? Or is your car 30 seconds from exploding? In today's world, with the pandemic, all the supply chain issues, and the pending recession, and ever-changing economic climate that we're in, this is not really an optional thing for a business. So what is the purpose of a 13-week cash flow? So we're going to answer questions like, will I be able to make payroll? If you have employees, you have to be able to pay them. Will you, will you be able to pay off your long-term debt that you owe? How much cash is in your bank? And does that change the timing of any investments that you were planning to make? So if you were planning to make an investment this quarter, but you see that cash is short, maybe you have to push it to next quarter. Or maybe vice versa, you're rich in cash and you can pull something up. Can you invest in more inventory? If you're a business that carries inventory, you have growth, you need to know if you can invest in inventory with the cash you have, or maybe you have to go get financing. Should we act now on increasing our workforce? So maybe you have a seasonal business and you want to increase your workforce, or maybe you're just growing and you want to hire that next salary person. Do you have the cash to be able to sustain that? Can you do a short-term increase in your marketing budget? So you might want to make a big product push and you want to know if you have the cash to pay your marketing vendors. Do you need to take action to push out a payment or get more credit? So you might be looking at your cash flow forecast and realize, wow, I'm not going to be able to pay those vendors. I have to go out and get some financing. I have to get some credit or use my credit. It gives you that context. And these are just a few examples. There are many, many other questions that a 13-week cash flow will answer for you. So how do you build a 13-week cash flow? So you really need to answer three questions. You have three elements here. How much cash do you have today? How much cash is going out the door? And how much cash is going to come in? So it's pretty simple, and you'll hear this referred to as uses of cash. That's your cash going out, or sources, which is your cash going in. So let's go into those three sections of the 13-week cash flow a little more detail. So first is cash on hand. So all cash currently on hand, this could be any money that you have in bank accounts, super liquid, real cash. So this is stuff that if large unexpected expenses literally came up tomorrow, you could pay for them. So then you have to look at your inflows. What inflows of cash are you expecting in the current week and out for the next 13 weeks? This could be anything from a payment from a customer, which we would call collections. It could be that you're, the owner of the company is giving you cash or you're receiving cash in from a loan or line of credit. Uh, any interest income, anything you might earn in investment income or anything like that is a cash inflow. Then you have cash outflows. So any outflows of cash you're expecting, and this is typically a longer list than your inflows because your inflows are going to be made up primarily of collections from your customer. But this could be anything from rent that you're paying, utility payments, your cost to pay your employees, your cost to buy inventory, marketing, any external vendors that you pay. This is a long list, taxes that you could pay. And remember, the goal here as you go through this is to quickly and accurately forecast your cash position, not to necessarily create GAAP or IFRS ready financial statements. And when you're looking at a cash flow forecast like this, 
more as a projection of what you have in the bank over 13 weeks than a true financial statement. It just becomes more straightforward to project where you'll make it and what strategic adjustments you need to make. So here's a quick example of a 13 week cash flow template and we'll come back to this, but you can see you start with your beginning cash on hand, then you have your inflows and your outflows. Okay, so let's go through some typical cash inflows and this isn't gonna cover all of them, but this gives you an idea. Your biggest always is gonna be your collections. This is your payment coming in from your customers or clients. Next, you could have things like your investor or owner inflows. So this would be any contribution from investor or owner, which you can use right away within your business. The interest, you could have interest income, tax refunds, dividend payments, or any type of other income. And you could have money coming in from credit, credit cards, loans, any type of financing or draws on your available credit. Flip to the outflow side, again, these do not include all possible outflows, but we've got money sent to vendors for inventory purchases, rent, utilities, software subscriptions. This could be a long, long list. You have your wages to your employees, so anything that your employees have earned, that's salaried and hourly. You'll have payments on your loans or credit. So this is any money you have to pay back on a revolver, any type of short-term or long-term credit, paying down your loans, and then all other operational expenses. So this could be anything related to running your business from repair and maintenance and manufacturing business to consulting fees or professional fees. Again, there's a long, long list and your outflow list is typically a lot longer than your inflow list. So let's look back at this cash flow template and let's go into the Excel just so you can see it. So here's a basic template. This doesn't build out every single one of your supporting tabs, which would give you details on some of these different elements of the cash flow forecast, but you're gonna lay it out week by week typically, and you're gonna go out over 13 weeks. So you're, you will start with your beginning on hand cash. So this is this could be one account, this could be multiple accounts. This could be a pretty complex thing, or it could be simple depending on the size of your business. And then you get into cash inflows. And this is going to be your biggest single line item of inflows for sure, your, is your collections from your customers. Now in this business, you've got kind of normal AR, you've got prepayments, but this is going to be your biggest bucket of inflows. And then everything else is typically kind of smaller dollar unless you get a big capital infusion of some kind. And then you get your cash outflows, which has more line items, but hopefully is less going out the door than you have coming in the door. So you've got things like your variable costs, so buying your inventory, raw materials, you've got your labor and all the associated costs of your benefits, and you've got your fixed costs, rent, liability, insurance, utilities. And, and this could go on and on, and it depends on the type of business you have. You can have quite a, a bit of differentiation. So overall, this is a pretty simple cash forecast and your inflows are really exceeding your outflows. But let's just play with this for a second and say that this number goes down significantly where all we have is a thousand dollars in the checking account or a million depending on your units. Say that in week two here, we're gonna buy $10,000 of inventory. This is where this could be super valuable because you actually see how your beginning cash on hand flips to negative. So you would have to either push out some payments to vendors, push out some of these inventory purchases or utilize some sort of credit to get this back to the positive side. So that's just an example. Again, this is an example template. It gives you an idea of how you would put together your cash forecast, your 13 week cash forecast template and how to start using this super valuable tool. How you would approach this from a timeline perspective, and this only covers the first six months of the year, but each month you're gonna forecast and you'd probably finish the cash flow forecast either just before you got to January or in the first few days you're gonna forecast out the next three months, and then February you roll it forward. So you're basically just rolling forward one month each time as you progress through the year. And let's just cover some of the benefits real quick. I think we've touched on most of these, but overall the 13 week cash flow forecast really becomes the monitor of the cash health of your business. And you might even say the overall health of your business because cash is the most critical piece. 
It helps you identify pressure points and risks where you can have short cash shortfalls, like the example we showed in the Excel, where you actually had a high level of inventory purchase, purchase which would take you to a negative cash balance. So this helps you proactively align financing or makes you take other actions that you need to to stay healthy. It helps drive performance. So having this regular 13 week cadence will help you focus on collections, it will identify other opportunities to, to improve working capital, and it's really gonna help you just overall run the business better and be more prepared. And then it serves as a control. So when you're looking at this and you're looking at what you're measuring, what actually happened versus your forecast, it gives you control to ensure there aren't issues with leakage or an area where you have a, a real risk on your cash collection side or anything like that. But ultimately, this thing is going to help you run your business better, and that's why it's so important. In the future, we're going to do a video where we actually walk you through how to create a 13-week cash flow forecast. So how do you forecast your collections? How do you forecast what you're going to buy from your vendors? Give you some different methodologies and take you through how you actually do that in Microsoft Excel. So that's it. If you have questions, let us know. Be sure to subscribe, join our newsletter, go to our website. We've got a great free resource library. We have some truly best-in-class courses, and we have plenty more videos. So check them out, and we'll see you soon.